Alright guys, today we're going to talk about the best OBS settings for streaming on YouTube, especially if you want to make sure your stream is actually super, super delicious for your viewers. We're talking about no lag, no errors in YouTube studio, making sure everything is actually in line with your internet speed. And at the same time, you want to make sure you follow all the rules and the bit rate guidelines by YouTube. So let's dive right into it. So the first thing we need to do of course we're gonna go ahead and actually open obs okay assuming you already have your camera and all the scenes that you need so we're gonna go ahead and connect obs to youtube so to be able to do that you're gonna go to settings and you're gonna go to stream we want to make sure you connect everything to youtube first okay and we're gonna go to service and make sure youtube rtmps is selected because we're streaming on youtube again if you have your obs connected to youtube already you can skip this step and then next thing we're gonna go to server and make Make sure we select primary youtube ingest server and then we're gonna go ahead and actually click this connect button okay as soon as you click connect a new tab is gonna open in your browser so you're gonna go ahead and select the google account that's associated to your youtube account and you follow instructions is actually super easy okay once you click to wait you're gonna get this message asking you to if you want to connect and then of course you're gonna hit continue once you hit continue everything's gonna be connected no problem you get this obs message that says authorization completed as you can see if we go back to obs you see that now it says like production testing this is my account so i can go ahead and actually hit apply you're gonna get some docs and hit ok all right so you're gonna get a new doc called chat and of course we have this youtube live control panel as well for this one to work you have to log in again using the same google email that's associated to your youtube account so we can go ahead and actually dock this uh, thing right here i can go to dock and unlock all my docs okay and what i need to do is i'm gonna go ahead and find it again there you go all right so now you just want to make sure you find a spot where you can actually dock it. And once you're happy with it, you're just going to go ahead and hit dock and lock docs. Make sure everything is good. Next step, we're going to go ahead and actually log in. So now everything is set. Our YouTube channel is connected to OBS. So we can go live directly from OBS, which is the main point. So the next step, we are going to do a internet test. So you want to make sure you know how much bandwidth you have available so you can decide how much bit rate you want to send to YouTube. Okay. So what I need to do, you go to Google and type in internet test, uh, internet speed test. Okay. The first thing here really by Google, you can just go ahead and hit run speed test and it's going to go ahead and actually check your internet speed. Another thing, make sure if you're streaming from your office, like what I'm doing right now, make sure you connected using a cable. Please, please don't stream over Wi-Fi unless maybe using a mobile phone or something. Okay. But if you're using obs on a desktop please make sure you connect your cable i have 55.6 megabits per second of upload speed again download speed really doesn't matter that much for streaming we're gonna go to the next step which is gonna be deciding which bit rate we're going to use for youtube okay so for this we're gonna go to this page by youtube i'm gonna leave a link down below for you guys to access it so technically it's a guide and that shows you what youtube recommends when when it comes to bit rate and all the settings that you need depending on the resolution you're gonna be streaming at okay for the purpose of this video we're gonna be streaming at 1080p 30 frames per second as you can see they're giving you the minimum bit rate okay settings for AV1 and H265 encoding. We're not gonna be using this encoding. For us, we're gonna be using H264. And we're gonna be, actually, you can see they recommend 10 megabits per second, okay? This is what we're gonna be using. So this is gonna help us avoid any error messages coming from YouTube platform. But at the same time, it's going to allow us to have a good viewing experience and a smooth stream for our viewers. You also have like some other encoder settings here that we're gonna go through back in obs so now we go back to obs and we're gonna go to settings and what we we need to do here we're gonna go to first general you don't need to do anything here you can leave it the way it is if you want to change the theme or the language you can change it okay for us 
stream we already did it everything is connected and then we're gonna go to output and then we're gonna go to streaming here so for audio encoder we can go ahead and keep it at core audio aac and then for video encoder if you have a dedicated graphics card for me i have one it's nvidia mvec h265 okay that's what i'm gonna be using however if you don't you may be able to actually uh use the x265 that means using the actual graphic graphics card that comes with your computer for rescale output you don't need to rescale anything okay and then we're gonna go to encoder settings okay for encoder settings according to youtube you want to make sure you leave everything here uh, on rate control make sure it's actually cbr and for bit rate 10 megabits per second remember i tested my internet speed and it was actually at 55 so the rule is to try to at least use up to half of what you have available if you have 30 you can use up to 15 or below because we have 50 we can use up to 25 so right now we need only 10 just to leave yourself some room for like you know if in case someone else is using the internet so like once you go beyond half you actually may get into trouble may have some issues so make sure you actually follow that rule all right so basically 10 megabits per second uh equals to 10,000 kilobits per second all right so we're gonna go ahead and actually type in 10,000 and then for keyframe interval usually youtube recommend between two and four we can actually put two seconds here no problem and next preset here you can actually choose whatever works for you but for me i always keep it you know here p5 slow good quality uh you can try slower better quality it depends on your computer tuning multi-pass mode profile you can leave it the way it is okay gpu leave it the way it is a zero uh, max b frames leave it at two and everything else for streaming you should be okay hit apply before we go you want to make sure you also head to video okay before we go to audio we need to make some changes here so the base canvas resolution this is gonna be the resolution of the actual monitor that you're using for me it's 1920 by 1080 i'm gonna leave it that way now for the output this is gonna be the quality or the resolution they're gonna be sending to youtube so for now we are actually streaming at 1080p so it's gonna be 1920 by 1080p and then here you don't need to do anything here you can just leave it the way it is a common fps values we streaming at 30 frames per second so we're gonna leave it at 30 if you gaming you may choose 60 frames per second so make sure you follow that guide if you're doing something that's different from what i'm doing right now that's pretty much it for video okay and then last we need to go to audio so when it comes to audio as you can see for audio sample rate is gonna be 44.1 kilohertz okay so we're gonna change we're gonna have to change that and then for audio beat rate is gonna be between 100 28 or 384 for 5.1 surround sound okay so we're gonna make some changes for audio here so we're gonna go back to obs go to settings and then we're gonna go to audio and then change to 44.1 okay as you can see we have to restart obs once we've done that okay and i'm gonna go ahead and actually hit apply and then we're gonna go to output here and then go to audio and then we're gonna go and choose 128 for audio beat rate for track one of course we're gonna be using most of the tracks so we can choose maybe track one to track three 128 i don't think we're gonna be using more than uh three tracks okay and hit apply and hit okay so we can go ahead and actually restart obs no problem just to make sure we are in compliance with everything all right so now obs has restarted and everything should be as we left it and everything looks good right now okay so the last part is gonna be about testing by creating a broadcast and see if everything we just did actually works with no errors right so we're gonna go ahead and go to manage broadcast okay and then you can go and create a new broadcast so for now the title is gonna be my broadcast test okay 
and then the description you can just call it test one so privacy you want to make sure you actually go public category you want to make sure you choose whatever actually goes with your stream i can leave it at people and blogs and you want to make sure you go to thumbnail here usually there's nothing and then is this video made for kids you want to make sure you hit no thumbnail you select and add the thumbnail okay again i have one that's pre-made everything else you don't really have to change anything so now the next step we're gonna go ahead and actually just hit create broadcast and right now it's creating broadcast back in youtube right now it's created but we are now live as soon as you're ready click start live streaming all right so right now we are live streaming to youtube and everything should be okay this doc here is actually gonna tell you if everything is good as you can see the signal says it's excellent so if you had issues you will see it here the chat i can send some messages say hello you know from obs so what we need to do to be able to check out the stream i can actually go ahead and hit this share button and then i'm gonna minimize obs and then i'm gonna go to my browser hit paste the link button okay and then okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to mute it because I don't want to get some feedback. But as you can see, we are live. The stream looks good. Uh, it's healthy. The stream is smooth. There's no issues. You can go back to OBS. You can check here. Usually it's going to tell you how many frames that were dropped. There's no dropped frames or anything. And you can see how much bit rate you're actually pushing to the internet here. So before we end, I actually want to give you a, a cool tip that you don't want to miss. If you see that everything is good, okay, your stream is smooth, no lag, super delicious. Your viewers are actually enjoying. You want to make sure you actually wear a t-shirt that says no lag zone so we have that t-shirt available right now i'm gonna leave a link down below in the description where you can actually go ahead and support the channel and of course you're gonna feel good every time you wear it while streaming because it's gonna remind you how genius and how good of a streamer you are so make sure you check it out guys but other than that if you want to stream to facebook at the same time my next video i'm gonna cover that where i'm gonna give you the best settings with the super cool plugin that you can use to stream on youtube and facebook at the same time so if you want to check that video out i'm gonna link it right here or somewhere here but other than that i'll see you there guys take care